Hi, it's Craig here. Uh, on this video I want to talk a little bit about um, sterilizing your homebrew equipment before you actually make your brew. This is something that um, I didn't cover in detail um, when I did my brewing series and I'm just about to make some wine and I figured, you know, why not cover this? It's quite universal when it comes to brewing just about anything um, at home or anywhere. So, I'm going to show you how I sterilize my initial equipment when I start a brew and it's it's an easy sort of intuitive way that I do it first of all you're gonna need this stuff here this is sodium metabisulfite I don't know if you can see that it's the lighting in this particular area isn't very good that's why I've got a little light over there but that's that's what it is and it's a white powder so what you do you need a uh, about a one gallon container though this is uh, you know, a cranberry juice container that I actually used to ferment some cranberry juice one day and the lid had a hole in it because I was actually fermenting it with an airlock so I just covered the hole with some plastic wrap. So I've cleaned out the container and it's about a one gallon so then what you do is you just add your um, sulfite powder with scissors that actually cut. It's time for a new pair of scissors Craig. There we go, look at that. Couldn't even cut through air with those things. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a clean funnel, so I'm just going to try my best not to spill it all over. So just pour it in. Don't breathe it in, though. It's terrible stuff to breathe in, whether it's dry or wet. Okay, so that's what that is. Now we're going to fill it up with um, some water. I use lukewarm water just to dissolve it nicely. Just fill it up. It's roughly a gallon. I mean, you can do the math, <clears throat> figure out the liters, and about like that. That's what I sort of think is a gallon. So then you just put the put your lid on, and you shake it up, and you've got sterilizing solution. Now this stuff is um, is reusable as well. So once you use it, you pour it back into this container. After a while, it gets kind of stinky and funky, and that's when you want to make a new batch. So there we go. Now, here's what I do. I'm going to be making a batch of, of brew, whether it's wine or beer. So I've got my my bucket. I've got all the things that I'm going to use to make the beer or the wine. In this case, it's going to be wine. So here's what I do. I've already washed my um, metal or my metal, my plastic bucket out. So it's clean. All of my equipment that I'm going to be using to brew, to brew this time has also been washed and clean. So this is what I do. I take my sterilizing solution, okay, and I pour it into my brew bucket. I don't pour it all in, just about half, you know, whatever. That way if you lose it, you can always, you can always uh, have, you've always got more there. I've accidentally poured it out down the drain sometimes and that, that way you've got some left to keep on what you're doing what you're doing. Okay, um, now now what I do is, first of all, I take, I take my lid and I snap it on tight. Okay, and I take my airlock and I put put it all together, okay, and I actually stick it in there like that, all right. So now it's not going to spill out all over the place. It's kind of sp you could also just get a, a rubber uh, bung with no hole in it and also do this that way as well. But then you take your bucket full of sterilizing solution, and all you want to do is shake it all around. Right, get it all over the top, the bottom, and all the sides. And I'm thorough about this. I like to, because I can't see where it's going, I like to make sure that it's touching everything. Okay? So once you do that, this stuff only has to touch your surfaces. Once it's touched the surfaces, they're sterile, or they're well, they're sanitized. So then I take off my lid. <clears throat> This lid is really hard to get off. It's probably not the best 
container to demonstrate. Should have used my other one. But uh, this is the one I'm going to be using for my wine. So, the lid off. There we go. Take that out. Just throw it in there for now. Now the lid is sanitized. Okay? And so you can set, set that down. And you've got your airlock here. You can take it apart. Swish it around in the sterilizing solution. Set it on the lid because the lid's the lid's sanitized, so it's okay to put. Don't put it on something else, like on your table or counter. You never know what's what's on there. Take your stir uh, stick that you're going to use. Bring it in here. Just get it all. It's covered in, in the sanitizer. It only has to touch it. It's, it's on contact that it works. Okay. Be thorough about it. I'm going kind of quick. I'll probably redo this again after I'm done the video, but just, just to show you what I do. Be thorough. Make sure it all gets touched. Set it on your lid like that. Next thing I got to do is my thermometer, which has been clean. Okay, that's done. My hydrometer. Okay, easy. Just fill it up with, with sanitizer. <coughs> Put the, the stuff does stink a little bit, so be careful. If you've got asthma, be really careful because it, it'll clog your lungs right up. Set that down. That doesn't matter because it's got a base. Okay, and that's it. Everything is now sanitized. And now you have to rinse it. So now you've got to pour your stuff back into your container because everything's. Everything you're gonna, that's gonna touch your brew, everything that's gonna touch your brew, has been touched by the sanitizer, and that's what you have to think about. Even if you're using a um, a hose from your tap to fill your uh, bucket with, like like I do here, I I would recommend you sanitize that too. Run it through some sanitizer, and I'll probably do that when I'm done. But I'm just okay. So now. You just have to rinse everything. So, grab your spoon, grab your for airlock. Careful with the thermometer because you don't want to put it in hot water. So I'm going to do that one in a minute. Just hang on to that for a second. Take your your lid and rinse it. Rinse it off. Get it all out. Okay. Okay, that's rinsed. A little bit of cold here for your thermometer. Okay, that's rinsed. Put it on your lid because it's still sanitized. Your spoon. That's rinsed. Do it thoroughly. You don't want the stuff in your brew. Grab your airlock. That's not as important because it's not going to touch. It shouldn't touch your brew anyways unless you have a blowout. Okay, and just let me find the little uh, lid there. Okay, it's rinsed. Everything's rinsed and sitting on a, uh, a sanitized lid. Now you just rinse out your bucket. Fill it up a little bit. Rinse all these sides. Empty it out. Do it again. You don't have to be that fussy about it, but just do it a few times. And there you have it. Everything is sterile, all in one step, and uh, we're ready to go. Okay, so that's how I do it. As I said, be thorough about it, and if you do that, you won't have any, you shouldn't have any problems making your brew. Okay? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.